we have gone through, we've now got this revelation that three, four years ago, four years ago and change was freaking me out. Do we have it now? <clears throat> you better believe it. We have the revelation of the laws of Moses in the is to come, the prophets in the revelation of there is to come, and the Psalms. And what you're about to see is that not even the prophets could understand the revelation that was hidden within them. You see, because the Lord gave them the dreams and the visions to write it down. The one chosen for the final generation is the one who would receive the revelation through their written words in their understanding to discern the is to come. Over the top. Over the top. <clears throat> and where does a lot of this begin? Well, it begins in the book of Habakkuk. You see, Habakkuk is, is like many of us, is like myself and like many of us. <clears throat> right? We're watchmen. Watchmen on the wall and crying out to the Lord and saying, my goodness, Lord. You see, what was Habakkuk doing? Habakkuk's cry was for Jerusalem. Our cry is for the entirety of the globe. We're seeing it playing out. We're, we're seeing the digital currency. We're seeing the, the events, the, the globalization. Everything is global. We're seeing what happened with, with, the, with the COVID and everything else and what it was a preparation for. It's true. But on top of that, we are also almost identical to Habakkuk in the sense that he was a watchman on the wall also for Jerusalem because he could not believe what they were doing. Their, their defilement, their disobedience, their idolatry. That he was like, Lord, how much longer are you going to wait? And listen to what the Lord tells him in Habakkuk 1 verse 5. Behold, you men, uh, sorry, behold ye among the heathen and regard and wonder marvelous, marvelously. For I will work a work in your days, which you will not believe, though it be told to you. You see, what's coming, they have no clue. Remember. They despised going in and hearing or hearing from the prophets in ancient days. They were always going after the prophets. They didn't want to hear from them. Because prophecy is generally what? <laughs> they call it doom and gloom. It is not doom and gloom when you understand. It is not doom and gloom. Is it difficult? You better believe it's difficult. Is it a difficult message to give? Absolutely it's a difficult message to give. Because why? Because it sounds like it's doom and gloom. But it's not doom and gloom because of the prophets who are given the message. It's doom and gloom to them for their disobedience who don't want to change. You see? Prophets aren't there to doom and gloom. Uh, doom and gloom. They're there to wake them up. To prepare them, to get them to change their ways. And this is the greatest of all times. Because this is the end of days. This is the end. When these 50 days and 14 years are over, it'll be the final jubilee in the beginning of the millennial reign. This is the end. It's all true. Oh, when is he coming? When is it going to happen? Oh, you keep saying this. Oh, you keep saying that. Yeah, do you know that those people are written about in Scripture as well? Those who leave and want to go and tickle the ears. Those who, who fool themselves and deceit others, saying, no, this is what the truth is. Go this way. Follow us. Trying to take people away. It's all spoken about by these guys. We must be prepared, we must be diligent, we must be strong, we must be praying.